There's a live look outside from our Galveston cam. That's a nice shot of the beach out there, folks. Welcome back to Houston Life. So the Galleria has teamed up with MD Anderson Children's Cancer Hospital for a very big back to school event happening this weekend. Yeah, kids from the hospital will be hitting the runway to show off some of the back to school trends. So here with a preview, we want to welcome Chris Lane, Director of Marketing right here at the Galleria, and Daniel Smith, Principal of the K through 12 School at MD Anderson Children's Cancer Hospital. Guys, thanks so much for coming in. Thank you for having Absolutely. us. Okay, Thank so Chris, you. we got to get this skinny. First, let's start in with the details. This is going on this weekend. This Saturday, right here in the Nordstrom Court, from 12 to 2, we're going to have our annual, 7th annual MD Anderson Children's Cancer Hospital back to school fashion bash and show. So lots of family, family friendly entertainment, face painters, balloon artists. Fashion show starts at 1 o'clock. Lots of great brands that you're going to see to get some inspiration for your back to school shopping. So there's the info right there on your screen from noon to 2. Fashion show starts at 1, though. Mm -hmm. Do, can people just show up? Yeah, we're going to have seats, and of course, you can always sit on the second level and look down if there's not any chairs for you, but yeah, absolutely. Come and check it out and have some fun. Also coincides with a tax-free weekend. Absolutely. Oh, perfect time. Yes. <laughs> so Daniel, you're the principal, the headmaster, right? right? right. K through 12. <laughs> and I think it's so great that the school is right there on site. So these kids, while they are in treatment, they have some place to study. Exactly. We have total flexibility to meet the needs that each patient that walks into MD Anderson Children's Cancer Hospital has from K through 12, also electives, advanced placement tutorials, whatever meets their needs. That's amazing. So it That's makes incredible. their treatment as, you know, as you know, disruptive. Treatment is very disruptive, so Absolutely. you guys allow it to be, you know, Right, we try to take disruptive. some of that weight off their shoulders and really meet them where they, they walk in the door at. You give them that normalcy. I mean, yeah. the school is normal for kids exactly. to be in school, so they still have to do their homework. Right, right. <laughs> oh, bummer. That's yeah, I know. Is, right? <laughs> the good news is, we, so we have a lot of these students uh, with us today. Um, this is something the kids are looking forward to, yes? They are. Yeah, okay. So let's bring out our first look, and this is... Sydney. Sydney. Sydney is 14 <laughs> years old. So, Chris, tell us about what Sydney's wearing, and yeah. then Daniel will have her. You tell us a little bit about Sydney. Right. This is a cool boho chic look for Macy's. Very age appropriate, great pattern. Got the paisley across the front, the cinch top there. Very fun, flirty. Got the great drop shoulder because it is still a little bit warm outside. Just a cool, very fun look for Macy's that is on trend. Well, when it gets a little cooler, she can just throw on a little denim jacket and she can still wear it well into fall. Exactly. She's got a great boots paired up. Those are her own. But yeah, great way to pull the look together. Very country chic and yeah, fashion forward. Okay, so Daniel, I understand Sydney is into arts and science. She is. She is. Sydney's an example of a wonderful young lady that we have at the Children's Cancer Hospital. She was diagnosed with Burkitt's lymphoma, which is a non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. She's going into eighth grade, loves arts and science. Okay, I gotta go talk to you, Sydney, because um, I've kind of been chit-chatting with you backstage, and I know that you love to write, you also love science, and you want to be an author. Yes, I do. I mean, oh. it's, I mean, I used to started reading when I was really young, and I I kind of grew into that and I think by reading it's really helped I mean it's just kind of showed me that being an author is kind of what I want to do because like you can create your own stories and you can um, use your imagination and you know it's just really fun but you really like the sci-fi kind of stuff and the fantasy yeah stuff. I would prefer to write about like science fiction or fantasy um, I'm into that kind of stuff. It's usually what I read. Oh, I think you're going to do it. I think it's so cool. Isn't that awesome? Sydney, thank you so much. You look great. Good luck in school. Thanks for stopping by today. All right, next we have Celeste and Jocelyn. This duo, they are sisters, <laughs> I understand. Come on out, ladies. Come on out. Oh, <laughs> okay, good. So, Chris, what are they wearing? Who are they wearing? Yeah, Celeste has this great look on from Crazy 8. It's a very fun, flirty pink skirt. It has the great detailing on the front. Layered it up with the two color combo down there. Fun graphic print tee that says on point because she's very stylish and trendy to go back With to school. With sparkles. With sparkles to boot. So yeah, great fun outfit. The glasses are her own but they tie perfectly together. It's a very fun energetic, great look. I also love the classic shoes that she has on. Very simple, very clean, very fun. Mary Jane. So, <laughs> so Jocelyn, Celeste's younger sister. Tell us about her outfit. The younger sister is very trendy wearing Janie and Jack here. It's the most adorable little outfit in the world. Got the great plaid skirt, the coordinating little sweater on there. It's not too heavy but it's a great little plat or print on the front there. Cool tee with their little Parisian chic little outfit on there. Eiffel Tower, some fun scenes from Paris, but a very cool, very cute little outfit for the first day of school and many more. Hi. Are those cute little raisins? <laughs> they are. Yes, oh. always prepared. Okay, so Celeste, you're nine years old? Yes. And Jocelyn, how old are you? Seven. Okay, but and your sister, so do you get along pretty well? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I understand you're ticklish, so does Jocelyn ever tickle you? Sometimes. Sometimes. Okay, so what are you studying in school? Math, reading, 
Math and reading. Is that are those your favorite things to study? Yes. Okay, and Jocelyn, you're about to go into what grade? Second grade. Second grade. Are you excited about that? Yes. Yeah, you seem like it. I bet you have a lot of friends at school. Yeah. And girls, you're about to be what, a big sister again, aren't you? Oh, yes. My mom is here with baby <laughs> sister in tow. Well, in her body still. All right, ladies, you look so good. Good luck in school. Thank you for coming by. Stay ticklish. Don't ever change. Have a great summer. <laughs> All right, so coming up next, we have Elise. Elise is 11 years old. Let's take a look at what she is wearing. Elise has a cool, another fun, age-appropriate outfit here. This is a sweater dress from Macy's. It's Tommy Hilfiger. It's cool. Has, yeah, the great deep across the front, lots of hearts along the bottom. It's easy, it's mobile, it's fun, so she can run around, have fun. Got the cool shoulder drop, drop down on the sides. Looks beautiful, looks great. I love the cityscape on this, that's cool. Very fun, yeah. I didn't know that. <laughs> okay, Daniel, what kind of student? Right, Elise is a star. Is She's an absolute she? star. Okay. She has, you know, art talent. She's athletic. She's an osteosarcoma survivor, and she's had a rotation plasty, and she is quite the athlete. She's looking forward to doing cross country um, in the fall. I hear that. Are you embarrassed with us talking about you like this? <laughs> you're not shy at all. I know this. <laughs> no. So you're, you're, you're going to start relearning how to run and hopefully dreaming of joining the cross country team. Yes. Are you nervous at all? A little. Are you ready to go back to school? Not really. I don't want to go back. What kid is ready to go back to school ever? What's your favorite subject in school? Do you like reading? Do you like math? Yeah, I kind of, I kind of like reading. And at least, I understand your older brother and sister, they're cross country runners. You have aspirations to start doing it, but you still have a little work to do to learn how to run again, right? Yes. Okay, but you're determined to do it, right? You're looking forward to it, aren't you? Yeah. I think once you start running, you're not going to stop. <laughs> hey, you look fantastic. You look great. you got to check back in with us, Elise, and let us know how it's going a year from now. Guys, this was really interesting. And again, we mentioned earlier that not only is this event happening this Saturday starting at noon, fashion show starts at 1, yep. but because it's tax-free weekend, it's a great time to come on out and sure, do yeah. last-minute shopping. Lots of great deals. We're open an hour early and an hour later on uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So more time for you to shop. Come down to the Galleria, check some stuff out, and get your Shopping done. Get All your right. shopping all on this weekend. Chris, Daniel, thank you so much. Again, the info is right there on your screen. And as a reminder, be sure to stop by the Galleria this weekend to enjoy some tax-free shopping and stop by the Nordstrom Wing, which is right here by Houston Life on Saturday, to watch the MD Anderson Back to School Fashion Show event. So thanks again, guys. The event information was right there on your screen, but it's also available at simon.com slash the Galleria. Chris, Daniel, and to all of our beautiful models, thank you so much. Great Daniel. job, models. Thank you. Yeah. So whether you're a gr grilling novice or a grilling master, we've got some tips to beef up your next steak night from a real cowboy. How mm -hmm. awesome is that? Houston Life reporter Stephanie Gary is hot on the trail with Rodeo Houston. All right, Steph, what are you wrangling up for us? You know what? We have so much steak coming up. A whole lot of meat. And you guys know that is my love language. But guess what? We're going to teach you how to make these perfect grill marks after the break with uh, Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo President and CEO Joel Cowley, who's just cooking up a storm. We'll see you in a bit.